Pal World is a game. <laughs> If you clicked on this video, then you definitely already know what Pal World is and what the controversy surrounding it is. You definitely didn't click on it to see me because you don't know who I am. I don't have more than 10 subscribers, so if I get more than 10 views, then huh, something's wrong with that math. Recently, the horde of Twitter mongers have taken to the keyboard to white knight for a multi-billion dollar company and assert that the developers of Pal World have stolen their creature designs from Game Freak and Pokemon, and thus they deserve to be sued into oblivion. I feel like a lot of people have been playing Pal World specifically because of these Twitter mongers, myself included, because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about so hats off to you you twitter fiends you gave the stealing company all the attention that you didn't want them to get streisand effect The main points of contention surrounding Pal World and the people that are attacking it are that they stole Pokemon designs and did the bare minimum to tweak their appearance. The designs in the game range from different yet familiar to downright copies of existing Pokemon. Because of this, people are saying that Pocket Pair, the developers of Pal World, deserve to be sued by Game Freak for stealing from Nintendo. And while I'm not necessarily disagreeing that the designs are eerily similar <laughs> you serious i just don't think model designs in a video game should be the basis and foundation for a lawsuit that sets a very dangerous precedent i mean where have we seen this kind of thing before it'd be like if the developers of doom sued cod and halo for making fps games uh, what you said they're you said they're shooting people from the first person perspective quick get my lawyer hold it it'd be like if marvel sued Anthem for stealing Iron Man. Like, I know this game sucked, but if we're talking about design ripoffs, then come on. That's fucking Iron Man. Where was the lawsuit then? Where were the White Knights for Marvel? Where were they when EA stole Iron Man and turned it into an open world co-op shooter? It'd be like if the developers of Civilization sued humankind for making an empire building game. The objectives of the games are the same. You're effectively playing the same game. They're both 4Xs. They both involve exploring the map, exploiting resources, expanding your borders, and exterminating your enemy. In fact, one of the only real major differences between humankind and civilization is the design. So is the gameplay stolen between those two games? Does 2K just own the rights to make an empire expanding and building game? I mean, honestly, some of these people are basically saying that Nintendo owns the rights to a chicken, or a fox, or a goat, or a sheep. It is absurd. It would be like if PUBG sued Fortnite. Uh. Um. Well, speaking of PUBG vs Fortnite, that lawsuit ended in a failure for PUBG. PUBG tried to sue Fortnite for making the same game and lost. What would happen if Game Freak did win this hypothetical legal battle against PAL World anyway? Will they just corner the market on monster catching games because of it? Will there be any monster catching games on console in the future? Or will potential developers just be too unwilling to create their own monster designs for fear of them possibly looking somewhat like Pokemon's already existing designs? The total number of Pokemon that have been made thus far has already exceeded a thousand. So for anyone who's even thinking about making a game even remotely similar or inspired by Pokemon, there's going to be some overlap and crossover in designs. It's just inevitable. I mean, you have such riveting Pokemon designs as a garbage bag, or an ice cream cone, or 
two gears sucking each other off. So what does this mean? Does Game Freak just own the rights to make a cartoon style monster catching game and no one is even allowed to try their hand at their own? I mean seriously, consider trying to make your own game based off of or inspired by Pokemon. What would it look like? What would the objectives be? What kind of designs would you make? Where would you get your inspiration from? Would you get it from a cat? Because Game Freak owns that now. Sorry. I am going to remind you in advance that I am very sorry and I apologize for the inconvenience of me not giving up. What you think? Because of the overwhelming nature of this controversy on the internet right now, there is just a multitude of information popping up. And one of the things I've recently learned after playing Pokemon for, gee, 20 years of my life, is that Pokemon in Gen 1 actually took its designs from Dragon Quest. This was an RPG that came out, I think, around the 80s. But they effectively copy and pasted several designs from Dragon Quest. Now, again, because of just the sheer volume of information coming out about this whole situation right now, I've also heard that Pokemon and Dragon Quest had some kind of legal agreement between the two of them, whereby Pokemon licensed the sprites from Dragon Quest. I don't know how valid that information actually is. I should probably go research it before I make this video, but here I am. Legal agreement or not, one just has to appreciate the pure hypocrisy that comes from watching somebody defend a game that they thought is a victim of intellectual property thievery without even realizing that the game that they're defending actually took the intellectual property of another game. I mean, it's just a pure double standard. Do you think every game should have completely original designs or is inspiration allowed? Are you allowed to take ideas from somebody else's game and change them and rearrange them and adapt them and make them look different in your game? I've been playing Power World on and off for about the past week. It's a fun game. <laughs> like I said, I've been playing Pokemon for, you know, most of my life. It was definitely one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. And in all the time I've played it, it's been basically the same game over and over again. Now, I'm not complaining about that, you know, until it moved on to Switch and the quality dropped dramatically year after year got worse and worse each year. But the most fun I've had playing Pokemon in years has been in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It was just th the freshest take that they had in, again, 20 years. And I was there for it, and I had a blast, and I thought it was amazing. There were little things that they could have tweaked and improved upon, you know, being a multi-billion dollar company. The most profitable franchise in human history. But yeah, I mean, the most fun I've had playing Pokemon in years has been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. And that game was a blast. And I had a blast playing it because it was fresh and exciting to play a different style of Pokemon game. But it was also familiar enough that I wasn't put off by a completely different experience to what Pokemon actually was. And Pal World reminds me a lot of that. I mean, it's the same kind of open world aspect, same kind of thing where the the pals, I'm not gonna call them pals, I'm just gonna call them Pokemon. They're Pokemon, no one's gonna call them pals. They are, they are Pokemon. I guess Game Freak really does own the rights to that kind of game. But yeah, they're just walking around in the open and it's cool to see them and you can just beat the shit out of them. It's funny, it's fun. I mean, it is a really unique game when you get down to it. All these people are just complaining and crying about the design. Who cares? Have you played the game? It's its own thing. It combines Pokemon, survival, and third person shooters, which is just... How come no one's white knighting for Ark? In survival aspects, it's the same game as Ark. I haven't played Ark that much, maybe I'm wrong, but I played a little in the technology screen. That looked like it was copy and pasted, am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? I, like, I genuinely... 
I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. There are sound cues that I've heard in Breath of the Wild in Pal World. I have not heard a peep from anyone defending Breath of the Wild or The Legend of Zelda. Why is everyone white knighting for the multi-billion dollar company? They will be fine, people. But I mean, it's a really fun game. They've got mini bosses and they've got, you know, larger bosses. And they've got this region lock effect too, where it's like, if you're too low a level, you're not gonna go into this other region. I mean, you can but you might get your ass handed to you. It is really its own game. It's not Pokemon, except in the way that it looks. So all the people that are harassing this company for taking inspiration off of Pokemon, they don't even understand that the company made this gameplay experience that is completely unique. I mean, sure, the survival aspects are very similar to Ark, but where in Ark can you start a work camp and take all the creatures that you've captured, make them work for you, and make them make things for you, and put them on a factory line. Don't remember that, Nark. Don't remember seeing that in Pokemon either. This is a prime example of people literally just judging a book by its cover. They look at it, and they lose their minds. But when I say that one little part of the game looks like Pokemon, well then everyone loses their minds. I mean, it's ridiculous. This game is its own thing. It has its own objectives that aren't in Pokemon. It has its own features that aren't in Pokemon. It has its own reasons to play that aren't in Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. It's not. It looks a little bit like it, but it's not. The next time you see a book on a shelf, don't just look at the cover. Try opening it. Maybe read the first page. Maybe the first chapter. Maybe you could even read the whole thing. But at least make an effort to analyze the book before you decide that you know what it is. Food for thought. Hey, by the way, this video was sponsored by Power.